everyone welcome to my channel electrical and computer engineering project in this channel i will make video tutorial on electrical and computer related projects and if you have not subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notification every time i upload a new video and you can also visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on twitter and you can send me message if you need anything on this link and don't forget to like comment and share my videos thank you we have already made our approved page yesterday so today we will work on this page and here first we will add a heading approve request and we will just add this title in our page title too and now let's change the styling of our heading text align center you can add some color if you want to add a different color for your page header and after this we will go to our form and inside this form we will add the class name let's add approve and then action then method post then inside this we will create our inputs and type will be text the name will be the column name of our table you can see that our issue book table is here and we have three column left what we want to update so we will have the exactly same name as our column and the placeholder will hold the approve or not and there will be our required and then after this add a break then another input and this will be exactly same text and name will be issue and then return placeholder will hold issue date and we will give the format so that our admin can see how they need to input the date year month and date and this field will also be required then another input will be our return date and after we get all this value we will write our query to update the table and we will add the class name here form control in every input then add a button and the button class will be button and button default type will be submit and name will also be submit then we will give the value of our button tag that will be approve and now you can see our table we will just take this table in the middle position of our page and all the other things are same so here our class name is approve we will modify the styling of this class here we will write dot approve and then inside second bracket we will give the text align center and let's see if this works okay it will only work for our button but it does not work for other things so let's add margin here margin 0 pixel and auto okay this will not working for this form class we can add margin left Okay, this is working properly so let's just add margin on the left side let's 
Let's give yes or no. And now our form is ready. So we can add some break before the form and before the header of our page. Now let's add our PHP code. If is set. And we will check if the button is pressed or not. This time we will not write our login condition because if someone is not logged in, they won't be able to approve the request. We have already checked that in our request page. So we are not checking this in our approve page. So after someone press the button, they can go to this page and this query will run. For that we will write mysqli underscore query. Then our dollar $db variable and then we will write the query here. This will be our update query because we are not inserting the values. We have already inserting the inserting two values inside our table. So now if we want to add some values, we need to update the value here. So our update query will be update then table name issue book. And then we will set the values for our columns. The first column is approve equal dollar sign underscore post and then our input name and that name was in equal to the name of our table column. So we will write like this for the other two columns too in issue book and issue date and return date. Now after this we need to write a where condition where we want to update there are several inputs and we will use the username and book id from this table and we have already created the session variable so that we can use them in other pages so we will use that session variable in this page too as we have written session we have started our session in our navigation bar page and we have included the navigation page here too so we don't need to write the session start again here we can just use this session variable in this page too and so where username equal dollar underscore session and then name and another thing will be our book id so and bid equal to dollar underscore session bid okay so this is our update query for our issue date and return date and after this if someone is given a book then our total book quantity will be decreased by one in this book table and if it is zero then it will be not available in the available section too so we need to write some other queries in this php here we will write the first one mysql i query and we will write it here after we give someone the book we will update the book table so update book our table name was books and we will set the quantity table quantity column set quantity equals quantity minus one whatever the value is inside the quantity that will be decremented by one where book id will be dollar underscore session bid and after this there will be our another query for 
checking if the value of the quantity is zero or not for this we need to first select the value from our quantity table for from the quantity column and for that we need to write a select query first so again we will run a query mysql i underscore query and then the query will be select quantity from books where brd will be equal to session brd and this will be assigned in a variable called dollar sign result and after this we will fetch the value from this dollar sign result variable we are selecting this value here and after this we need to fetch this so we will write our while condition while dollar row equal to mysql i underscore fetch underscore so inside bracket we will give dollar sign result and then we will compare the dollar row quantity and if this is zero and we are checking if they are equal so we are using two equal signs here If they are equal then we will run another query that means if the quantity is zero then we will update the status of our book that it is not available anymore so update books set status equals not available where BID equal dollar sign session dollar underscore session bid okay after all this we can show a script message here that our update has been successful so after this if condition ends okay after while condition we are writing it here the script need to give an alert message here inside double quotation updated successfully and then we will give it a window dot location equal to request that means after the approve has been done then we will be redirected to our request page and now let's just approve some user and see if this is working properly or not username and book id then submit here we will give yes then issue date we will give the date as First the year, then month and then date. Then press the button. We are getting the message so everything is working here properly. Now let's see if the queries have run properly or not. For that we need to go to our database and let's go to our book page and then issue book page okay inside this page we see that our query is not working properly but the other query is working properly because the quantity has been decremented by one so here let's check if the query is okay or not cannot find the problem here it 
this is not working okay let's just write the query here and check them then we can add them inside our code so here we will write the code for our update query let's just copy this format and then modify them update issue book set and then we need to update only three column here approve this value let's just give any value to check if they are working or not let's give one for three column then return this will also be one and then where bid equals one if this query work properly then we will just copy this query our query is working here so we can just copy this and we will copy this till the where condition Now let's just paste this inside our PHP file. And then we will write our dollar underscore post variable here instead of one. okay now let's see if this working or not here we are giving the same value and here we will write the exactly the value we want to save in our table here okay now it has been updated properly so the query is okay and after we go back to our page from our student side you will see that uh, the values have been added in this table too from our student side and if we approve another book here we will see the change in other values too let's go to our admin side and approve another request you can see that there is only two requests left here now let's uh, in approve this book too and submit now we can just give the same value as we have given in the previous one okay now you can see that only one request is left here in the admin side and if we go to our student side we will see that two books have been approved and we can see the issue date and our return date so everything is okay for our approving and after this we will work on our issue information we have not created this page yet we will add all the information of the student who has taken the book or borrowed the book from the library thank you